the United States Navy has taken delivery of USS South Dakota SSN 790 it's the 17th Virginia class submarine and the 7th block 3 variant the vessel will be commissioned into service early in 2019 the important point to note is USS South Dakota is not a typical Virginia class vessel but is the lead vessel for the US Navy's secret acoustic superiority program acoustic superiority program aims to maintain the technical edge over Russia and China by making the submarines more silent so that it's harder to detect by sonar in this video defense updates analyzes why USS South Dakota is the most stealthy submarine of the US Navy let's get started the Virginia class sometimes referred to as SSN 774 class is a class of nuclear powered fast attack submarines in service with the United States Navy Virginia class is designed to replace older Los Angeles class submarines many of which have been decommissioned Virginia class submarines will be acquired through 2043 and are expected to remain in service till 2070 Virginia class submarines are designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral missions their primary purpose is to take out enemy surface combatants and submarines and the secondary task is to execute land attack missions USS South Dakota has been built by shipbuilder Huntington Ingalls Industries it has a length of 115 meters to give viewers a perspective its length is slightly greater than that of a football field it displaces around 7,900 tons USS South Dakota like all other block 3 variant is acknowledged to be able to move to depths of 240 meters that's 800 feet but allegedly capable of going down to 490 meters or 1600 feet a single s9g reactor that produces around 30 megawatts powers South Dakota the reactor features improved corrosion resistance and reduced life cycle costs it has reduced size and weight enabling the submarine to pack more weapons and sensors the s9g reactor is designed to operate for 33 years without refueling so USS South Dakota has a practically unlimited range limited by only food supplies and maintenance requirements the reactor produces enough power to propel South Dakota over 25 knots that's 46 kilometers per hour or 29 miles per hour though the actual number may be significantly higher the Virginia class is the first to use photonic sensors instead of a traditional periscope the class is equipped with high-resolution cameras along with light intensification and infrared sensors as well as infrared laser rangefinder block 3 variant of Virginia class has redesigned elements and features several types of sonar arrays one it incorporates a large aperture bow LAB water backed array which replaces the traditional air backed spherical array this is main sonar is one of the most powerful sonar mounted in any submarines in the world Two, high frequency active sonars mounted in the sail and bow these supplement the main sonar array improving anti-submarine warfare performance three a fiber optic sonar array consisting of three flat panels are present in either side of the hull four for coverage above and behind the submarine a high frequency sonar is mounted on both sides of the submarine sail USS South Dakota is also equipped with a low frequency towed sonar array and a high frequency towed sonar array Rear Admiral Michael Jabaly, the Navy's then program execution officer for submarines, said on July 8, 2016, at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, This is our response to the continued improvement in our peer competitors' submarine quality. The Russians, with the production of the Severodvinsk SSGN, took a significant step forward in their acoustic ability. We want to maintain pace ahead of that. We never want to reach acoustic parity. We always want to be better than anything any other country's putting out there in the submarine domain. Jabley added, the modifications include new acoustic hull coatings, a series of machinery improvements inside the hull, and the addition of two new large vertical sonar arrays, one on each side. 
the new sonar arrays provide a significant advantage in the ability to detect other submarines before you yourself are in a position to be detected South Dakota will also receive a new enhanced propulsion system Jambly said South Dakota will have an improved enhanced hybrid propulsor that we've developed with DARPA it promises to present a significant acoustic advantage USS South Dakota is deadly as it's packed with different kind of weapons to knock out varied targets one two large diameter Virginia payload tubes each capable of launching six Tomahawk cruise missiles Tomahawk is a long-range all-weather cruise missile that's used for land-based attacks it has a long range of 1200 to 2500 kilometers enabling them to be launched from far off two four 533 millimeter torpedo tubes for the mark 48 torpedo there's a capacity to carry up to 26 mark 48 torpedoes in the weapons chamber these torpedoes have a range in excess of 50 kilometers or 31 miles and can be used to take out enemy submarines and surface vessels three like all Virginia class South Dakota can also lay different types of mines including the mark 60 captor encapsulated torpedo mines an integral lockout lock-in chamber is incorporated into the hull for special operations the chamber can host a mini submarine such as Northrop Grumman's advanced seals delivery system that can be used to transport special warfare forces such as Navy SEAL teams thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section this will help us improve